Hello everybody, I'm here for uh, another farm layout that I did when I went home in July to Iowa. And the layout I'm going to do is going to be titled Bailey and Hay. And I have some paper that I bought at Joann's. It's in the individual paper. I bought it individually for like, I think 59 cents or something like that. And it was 12 by 12 and I cut it down to 8.5 by 11. This is going to be two pages. And I'm going to start, go ahead and start with my first page. And I'm going to start with laying everything out. Or at least my title so I can go ahead and get it glued down. And my title is from Poufant. I believe it is the uh, marker feature. I think it's marker. And no. My cat's trying to get up here. And it is cut at one and a half inches. to be about right. No ma'am. No. Alright. Go ahead and glue this down. Using my zig two way. And I did do a little bit of some doodling to it. Let me oops, zoom in so you can see. If I can there we go. Alright, that's what I did. Just a little bit. Alright. start doing this. I started it, but then I ended up with such a headache. Just bam, all of a sudden. So I had to lay down. I tried to do it and I just couldn't concentrate. So it's better now. And I got finished getting everything cut out. And detailed the way I wanted it detailed. And Voila, here I am. And I bought this paper specifically for this layout. I bought four because I did, do have two pictures that I could probably, of me and my brother. This is of my youngest sister, her kids, and my brother. They're all, they're on the rack, I'm taking, they're unloading the rack, so, and I was photographer. I did enough of that, huh, I'm bailed out. <laughs> Although, being on the rack is... A lot easier than what my dad was doing, and that was stacking them in the hay mount. That's hot, dusty, yeah. 
not fun. And then here's my pictures. I also uh, <laughs> detailed around the the photo map, the same as the. And I'll take pictures so you can better see my details. And those are gonna go up here like so. And my photo mats are, let me see here, three and a half, or three and a quarter by three and a quarter. My picture is just three by three. And I did use on this layout, normally I stick with kind of the colors that are in the paper, but this is, has so many neutral browns and tans and kind of a ivory colors that I did kind of go with, and I cut this stuff out not knowing which paper I was going to use. So I did take and have, I, for the girl I have um, more brighter colors. And then for my journaling, I do have a blue circle. And um, I was going to go with more, I, we cut my circle in, in ivory, but I thought, you know what? Because there's so many browns and ivories that I like the blue. And this is how this is going to go. Kitty there. Let's see here. I'll do it this way. Bala yarn here. And she's walking the dog. Alright, that's how that's going to get glued down. So let me do this first. And my journaling is from Simply Sweet. And it is three and a half inches. That's what set the cricket out. Alright. Kitty kitty next. And I used googly eyes on the on the uh, dog and the cat. And my finger stuck. <laughs> My zip two way on the kitty's tail for no chance ripping it. And I stitched around the kitty and the ball of yarn. Oops. Which the yarn is from Everyday Paper Dolls and it is two and a half inches because I believe that is what, yeah, the cat is also cut at two and a half inches and this is um, uh, accessory to the kitty. And I thought about popping some of this up but then I decided not to. I'm going to go with it the way it is. <clears throat> and on the girls, I'll show you here in a minute, I did stitch on all her clothes. And I took these, since her clothes is flowers, I took, let me see if I can just move closer. I took flowered um, brads and put them in the, on the clothes because the, there were holes that were cut there so instead of just using a marker and marking the holes I just thought hmm you know I have flower brads 
that would go so cute that would look super cute with this so that is what I did and I would have to say I was right I did use, I don't know if you can really tell, yeah there you go, I used glossy accents in the center of the cat and the dog's nose, and she's going to be holding the leash, oh no, I lost my kitty's eye, poor guy, let me fix his eye. page and now for the second page which is gonna have hay on this page which a sitting here thinking what layout should I do next I don't think I have another farming layout done so I do have sweet dream baby layout ready I might go ahead and do or start that one's pretty cute Alright, and this I'm going to put here, kind of centered, and then I got my water on, I'm just going to go over here, put him on next. And I use kind of some brass silver uh, brats on the little boys overalls and then the hay then hay that will be it. <laughs> mm. Alright. And that would complete the second page. And let me zoom out and I will show you both pages together. And zoom down so you can see. And that would be them. Bailey and Hay. Aw, so cute. Alright, and I thank you for watching.
Uh, I forgot to mention, so I figured I'd mention it real quick. I forgot to tell you the rest of my sizes. The dog I cut at, and his accessories are cut at three and a half inches. This photo mat is cut at three and three quarters by five and a quarter. My picture is three by, or three and a half by five. My boy doll and my girl doll and their clothes and accessories are all cut at five inches. And I had to believe that that is sizes of everything because I told you the yarn and the cat the, and all the other items earlier in the video. So that, I just wanted to tell you sizes and I will also have it down in the description for you as well. And I thank you for watching. Bye.